Hello everyone, it's Jaron Bracken with NCSI back with you again today to share a video about Avanti Neurons for UEM. Avanti released a new feature on May 29th, 2024, and that is this new agent management area. I'm going to show you the improvement of manageability and administrative ease for this new feature. Starting with agent policies, we now have a list of agent policies, nothing new there. But if I click on a policy group, I have a new interface to work with. First off, you'll notice that I don't have a list of computers here and I don't have a list of features on the right. They're now laid out in front of me as seen here. If I click on agent settings, the only things I'm looking at here are the peer download controls and the LAN slash WAN utilization. The reboot experience has also been peeled off into its own interface, uh, otherwise it remains unchanged. I'm going to edit this configuration so that you can see the options that we have available to us. The first thing I want to point out in the new agent capability section is this connector server capability and this deployment capability. These capabilities were tied to a special agent installation. I could only have a connector server, or I could only have a deployment server, or I could only have a regular agent with app distribution and edge intelligence and remote control. I couldn't have all three or any combination of the two. With this new agent management, now I can check a box and now all of my agents can be deployment representatives. Likewise, if I wanted to add application control, I simply select the box and then choose the configuration from the drop-down and hit save. I'm not going to save this. I'm going to cancel it. The next thing I want to show you is this enrollment key tab. Enrollment keys are used for agent installation that direct your agent to your tenant and to the agent policy group that you wish them to have. I can create a key here and you'll notice that I have the ability to name it. I'm going to name this one forever. And I have the option to use limits, so I can limit this to 150 agents or up until the date June 30th, 2025. If I reach either of these limits, the key will no longer work and agent registrations will fail. I can also use the maximum here. And you can see for increased security, Avanti recommends enrollment keys be set up to use limits and have a finite number of agent endpoints and an expiry date. That way, if you're installer got into the wrong hands, no one could install your agent and begin participating in your app distributions and your patching and, and what have you. All right, I've created my key. I have an option to copy the key here. I'm not going to do that. I'll show you where we'll see this again later and I'll hit close. I have my key. The status is active and you can see I have uh, 200 million, I believe, total agent registrations. So and an expiry of never, which means this is never going to be depleted. Also here, I have my Agent Endpoints tab. Inside of this, I can click a checkbox and then perform actions against agents. I can reassign them to another policy group. I can redeploy the agent if the agent has been corrupted or uninstalled accidentally. I can also uninstall the agent. This option here will uninstall the agent but leave the device listed. And this one will remove the agent and remove the entry from our list of devices. If I go here to agent management, I can see a list of devices in my environment. I can search for a particular device. And using that same method, I can check a box and then choose actions to reassign, redeploy, uninstall, or remove the agent endpoint. Under agent deployment, if I wanted to create an agent installer, I will choose get started here. I decide which agent policy I want the agent to use. I choose which enrollment key I want it to use. I only have one right now, and that's the forever key. You do get a nice indicator of remaining activations here. And I was wrong. It's two billion. So, uh, you know, make sure you don't wear that out. Choose the host endpoint operating system. I'm going to choose Windows. If I choose interactive mode and hit download, 
I will download an options file and I'll download an exe file. If I keep that option file and the exe file together and do not change their name, the key will automatically be entered when I run the installation. If I choose silent from the drop down list here, I get the command line that I can use to install without an options file. I would simply reference the exe like they show here, drop in these options with my tenant ID, the activation key, the cloud host to register to, and the mode of unattended. And this would install silently in the background, register with my tenant, and be assigned to the proper agent policy. All right, that's the manual installation of an agent. We can also push the agent from neurons using this tool, deploy agent via neurons push installation. It does require at least one agent to have that deployment capability. The interface is very intuitive. I can select my agent policy here, my key, and where I would like to deploy it from. So we'll just pick one here. And then I can find any of the devices that have been discovered using this search option here. I can tell it to show me things with agents or without agents. And then, of course, I can just scroll up and down and look through the various pages. All I need to do is select the devices that I would wish to install and click the Add button. So that's going to load them over here to our target devices. I'll come to the Credentials tab and select what credentials I would use to install. And this would be, of course, for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Of course, I only have Windows in my list here. And I'd simply click the Deploy button to have those begin the installation. Once the agent is installed, you should see it either under your list of agent policies with a number of endpoints here, or under Agent Management, and you can search it either by the search box, you can filter it out using any one of these filters, or you can simply scroll down through your list until you find it. This is a vast improvement from the previous agent management tool. It is less prone to mistakes and is far more intuitive. Very excited about this feature. That's all for today, everyone. I appreciate you joining me to walk through this new feature in Avanti Neurons. If you found value in this video, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. We release videos regularly. Until next time, thank you for joining, and we'll see you soon.